Hi everyone, I'm Gordon Zhang from the Future Intelligence Lab at Tsinghua University. I'm glad to share our recent work, Community Value Prediction in Social E-Commerce with you. I'll introduce our work in five parts. So before we go into the details of our methods, I'll first introduce the background on social e-commerce and community value. What is social e-commerce? Social e-commerce is a newly emerging form of e-commerce that involves social media to promote product adoptions and online transactions. There are two types of most successful social e-commerce platforms. One facilitates group buying, which allows customers to invite others to purchase together with them so that the members in a formed group can all get a discount, like Pinduoduo and Groupon. The other promotes customer referrals, which uses commission fees to encourage customers to recommend items to their relatives and friends, like Beidian and Mingji. One common feature of these new social e-commerce platforms is that they rely on part of the customers to actively promote items through their social networks, and as a result, customers' purchase decisions are easily affected by one another, and people connected to these customers form into highly engaged communities, like here, we have community A, B, and C in the figure. So for related companies, their focuses have shifted from an individual perspective to a community perspective. Assessing the economic value of such communities, we find that the total transaction amount inside the community is of great importance to the prosperity of these platforms, because they typically make their marketing campaigns towards communities and manage the resources around communities. This problem is also receiving increasing attention in research communities that is not limited to social e-commerce. For example, in online social games, friends typically play together in a team. For online travel planning, a group of travelers can make their trip plan together. Thus, the key concern of related companies is also shifting from an individual perspective to a group perspective. However, to the best of our knowledge, few works have systematically addressed the community value prediction problem. Here, we formally propose the community value prediction problem. Given a social network G with an adjacent matrix A and a community partition C, a user feature matrix XV, a user interaction feature matrix XE, our objective is to learn a mapping function F to predict the value of each given community Y, which is assessed by the sum of purchase of all the members in each community in a future time period. Note that the community partition C can be given by algorithms or predefined rules. To the best of our knowledge, we formally propose this problem for the first time, and its main challenge lies in the fact that complex social influence exists on different levels of the underlying social network structures, which can influence the value of communities profoundly. Specifically, we identify three levels of structures important. The first level is pure relations, for example, it is likely for one to purchase on the best friend's recommendations. The second level is the community structure beyond the pairwise relations. Take the edge density of a community as an example. The denser the network, the easier it is for social influence to diffuse across the community, and thus the higher the community value. Third, inter-community connections can also be a crucial factor that influence community value. For example, High-value communities purchase trends may pass to low-value communities through inter-community connections and thereby increasing their value. To validate our arguments, we did some empirical data analysis on Beidian, one of the most successful social e-commerce platforms based on customer referral. Prior literature has provided us abundant evidence of the effects of pure relation, and thus, here, we only validate on the existence of the effect of community structure and inter-community connections. With the full dataset of Beidian, which contains around 40 million users, we found a positive correlation between community value and the number of edges inside the community controlling the size of the community, which suggests that the denser the community, the higher the value. Similarly, we also find a positive correlation between the number of edges outside the community 
and the community value, controlling the size of the community and the number of edges inside the community, which suggests that inter-community connections do affect community value. To address the challenges, we developed a multi-scale structure where community value prediction model based on graph neural network. And here's the architecture of it. Overall, it contains four layers with three designs, including a multi-aggregator framework for capturing the inter-community connections, a newly designed GCN layer called MALGCN for modeling the effects of pure relations, and a new pooling method for GCN to model the effects of community structure better. Now, let's go into the details of each design. We model each user as a node, the relationship between each user at edge, and thus we get a graph. Here, we use a demo community C1 that contains four users from V1 to V4 as an example to explain our proposed method. The first layer is an embedding layer, which takes user features and user interaction features as inputs and uses a fully connected layer to transform them into node embeddings and edge embeddings. First, to model the effects of the intercommunity connections, we developed a multi-aggregator framework. Specifically, we consider the edge inside communities and across communities as two different types of edges and use a separate GCN framework to model them. In this way, the model can recognize the influence of intercommunity connections. Second, we designed a mask ledge learning graph convolutional neural network to capture the effects of pure relations better. This figure shows the details of how it works. It includes two parts, an edge learning module and a mask edge learning graph convolutional layer. The goal of the edge learning module is to learn a mask vector sigma ij for each pair of connecting nodes for GCN. This factor is learned leveraging both the node features and the edge features, which is formally formulated in this equation. Then, this factor is fed into the Malconf module. It is a new GCN layer that updates the hidden states of a node by aggregating all the states of neighbors, controlling by the learned masked vector. Here, control means an element-wise product between the vector and the states of the neighbors, which is shown in this equation. Intuitively, this mask vector can capture the strength of pure relations. Finally, to capture the effects of community structures better, we design a new pooling algorithm for GCN, denoted as Pairwise Community Pooling, PC Pool for short. This module takes the node-level representations from MAL GCN and maps them into graph-level representations of each community for prediction. The main idea is to integrate prior knowledge into the pooling process as a supervised signal. Specifically, it mainly contains two steps. The first step is to select a subset of nodes from the community utilizing prior knowledge. In social e-commerce, we can reasonably assume that users with more connections are more important for the community, and thus, we select the top R percent of nodes with the highest degrees as C nodes. For example, here, we select V1. The second step is to conduct a pairwise concatenation between the representation of C nodes and all the nodes in the graph. Then, we fed the results into the linear layer followed by mean pooling to learn the representation of a community. The whole process is similar to a self-attention framework with prior knowledge. Note that the node selection algorithm can be easily extended to other complicated ones. Finally, we use a mean absolute error loss function without two regularization to prevent overfitting. To comprehensively evaluate our proposed model, we conduct extensive experiments on a large scale real world dataset from Beidian, a leading social commerce platform in China. And here are the details of the dataset. By the way, you can access it from the link at the bottom. We compare our methods with four different categories of baselines in terms of MAE, RMSE, and NRMSE. Please refer to our paper for more details. 
here are the overall results, and we summarize four key observations. First, MSC achieved significant better performance over different types of state-of-the-art baselines in terms of all three evaluation metrics. Second, among all the baselines, we find that all GCM-based methods perform consistently better than others, which suggests predicting community value need to jointly model the community's network structure and individual attributes. Third, prior state-of-the-art pooling methods perform worse than our method and mean pooling in this scenario, which may indicate that these methods are not suitable for capturing the high-order structural information of a community. Fourth, MSC performs significantly better than CVP, which sums up the prediction of each customer and the community value. It suggests that the community value prediction problem is essentially different from the customer value prediction problem, and summing up the prediction can result in an accumulation of errors. We also conduct an ablation study to examine the effectiveness of our designs, and we find that removing any part of the components resulting in a certain level of performance decrease, which demonstrates that our designs are effective. In practice, communities defined by rules or detected by algorithms may differ significantly in their overlap ratio and community size. Through our experiments, we find that our model performs consistently better than all the baseline methods across different community size and community overlap ratios. Through our case study on the learned weights of mask vectors in MALGCN, which characterize the influence of a user on its neighbors, we find that our model is able to provide interpretable predictions. Specifically, we calculate the mean value of the mass vectors at the weight of the edges and visualize the community structure of four communities, as shown in the figure, where the color of the edges represents the strength of the influence, and the color of the nodes reflects its degree. The darker the color, the stronger the influence, the higher the degree. The results show that the predictions can be well explained. Specifically, the value of community C1 is low because most of its users are loosely connected. In contrast, for the densely connected community C2, MSC identifies many users with strong influence. In terms of C3 and C4, we find that although C4 is loosely connected, there are many strong connections between it and a highly convalued community C3, which suggests that the high value of C3 may result from the strong influence of C4. We also conducted a hyperparameter sensitivity analysis. Specifically, we investigated how the node embedding size and the C ratio of the PC pool module affect the prediction performance. And we find that among all the settings, dv equals 30 and r equals 0.1 achieves the best performance. To conclude, to the best of our knowledge, we formally propose the community value prediction problem for the first time and provide in-depth analysis and empirical evidence demonstrating that modeling the multi-scale structures of communities is keenly important for this problem. To predict community value, we developed a deep learning framework, MSC, with three novel components, which can jointly model the pure relations, community structure, and inter-community connections at the same time. Extensive experiments on large-scale real-world datasets show that our proposed MLC significantly outperforms the state-of-the-art baselines. In terms of the future work, we open our dataset and call for more attention to the community value prediction problem. Moreover, it's valuable to explore how to extend MLC to dynamic communities that change over time. It is also valuable to model the causality aspects of the problem. For example, will the community value increase if two people become friends? That's all of my presentation, and thank you for your attention.